Now I will guide you on how to use this 500 watt laser obstacle remover. First, we need to install the machine. We take out the tripod from the bag. Facing the obstacle that needs to be removed, install the tripod. And now open the main machine cabinet. There are four buckles. This is the laser emitting head. We will need to smooth the cable when installing the laser head. The curved angle cannot be less than 90 degrees. And this is the installation fixing board connecting the laser head and tripod. After the sound da, we need to fix this fixing bolt here. And now we need to connect with the gimbal. Red dot to red dot. And remove these two caps from the lens. Make sure not to touch the lens with your hand and clean the lens if there's any dust. To connect the battery to the machine. This is the screen of the battery, showing the left battery, voltage, and the temperature. And this is the charging port. We will need to use this 5-pin plug. With words heading above, remember only in this direction can you plug in. Be sure to tighten during installation because the current is relatively large. If it is not tightened, the heat will be serious. And we connected the 4-pin plug to the machine. The same words heading above and tighten up. After tightening, we turn on the switch of the battery, press it directly here. At this time, the battery fan will work. This is normal. After the battery is turned on, rotate the key switch of the machine to on status. At this time, the indicator will turn on the green light. And now we take out the control tablet. Finding the system set, and it will automatically connect with the machine's Wi-Fi. Fetching the IP, it will connect automatically. Now connect it. Then back to the tablet homepage. Turn on the app. And now we are in the main control board. These four icons are mainly used to control the direction of the gimbal. Now take out our distance tester to check the distance between the laser and obstacle. Check the distance from the laser to the other end is 68 meters. Choosing the nearest distance value from the distance setting and confirm. And the front side will change with the distance. Now we can use the zooming icon at the left down corner. 
to adjust the focal length, together with the direction icon to find the goal. If the turning speed is too fast, adjust the speed here, and it will be really slow, then we can find the obstacle gradually. The clarity will automatically adjust during the whole adjustment process when we're finding the goal. When we choose to turn the laser on, remember the zoom is 42 times. For if it's not in 42 times, the laser position is not where the focal icon marked. Here, we can choose the power. Now we need to choose 100% and confirm. We can see the screen will show fingerprint not certified. We will need to log in with user info. Super admin, password 123456. If there's no fingerprint, we can also certify it here in the machine control board. But you need to add a new fingerprint first in the user management system. And if it shows no permission, click the unlock icon to input the unlock pin. Original unlock pin is 888888. And it shows red, meaning it's ready to turn the laser on. Now we mark your point to the goal. Click the laser icon above the direction control icons, then the laser will work. To turn off the machine, we need to use the key switch to turn it off. And then we can turn off the battery.